Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks. Uh, there's just been some stuff going on and I know I'm super late at uh, filming these hauls. Um, and I know I posted the pictures on Instagram a while back, but I'm finally able to do them. Uh, reviews are definitely coming up soon. I have an entire bag full of new to me vendors that I've tried that I'm super excited to review. And uh, let's just jump into this one. So this is from Satin Suzy Scents. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just heard that, but there is a huge thunderstorm right now and it's thundering very loudly. Also, my fiance is on the computer. So if you hear typing, try to ignore it. Okay. So... I got a ton of samples from her as usual. So the first one here is in bourbon butterscotch. This one smells really good. It smells like coffee. I really like this one. It smells like a light coffee with like, of course, the bourbon and butterscotch. I really like it. And then she sent me vanilla sandalwood, which is another one of my favorites. I love vanilla sandalwood scents. Hers is really nice. I think hers is a little bit more like perfumey, I would say, than some other vendors, but it's still really nice. I like it. And then I got Good Morning Sunshine. I am not a fan of this one. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a grapefruity, citrusy, pineapple-y type of scent. It's definitely extremely fruity. So if you like fruity scents, then you'll definitely like that one. And then I got Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte, which I actually have this one, and it's funny because she sent me like a big bar of it, her logo bar, when she first came out with it in this scent. And I love it because this is one of the very few pumpkin latte scents that you can actually smell coffee in. It's so good. Super strong on the coffee, and then you definitely get like a sweet, creamy pumpkin marshmallow scent. And then I got one in Sugar Milk, which I will melt Sugar Milk all day, every day. Hers is obviously like so good. I love her sugar milk scents. And then the last one that I got is in Cranberry Festival, which I also got this one as a sample in my last order. And um, I think it's just like a new scent that she's working on. And I do really like it. I think I'm going to save mine for like the fall turning into winter type months because it's definitely like a fall winter scent. It's like, when you walk into a Christmas tree shop and then you smell like the little hints of cranberries in there, it smells really nice. It's definitely a very good fall winter scent. Okay, so this haul is mainly steampunk cupcakes because I love them and I know I talked about them in my collection series videos, um, but now you'll finally get to see what I did with them and how I blended and stuff like that. So I did rebag them, which I also talked about um, you guys have seen the original packaging on Instagram and probably my videos and other people's videos. Um, but I don't love the way she packages them just because they're really hard to like get in and out and to smell them and then to have to retie them. It's just kind of a pain for me because she doesn't use a twist tie. She uses like a ribbon. And yes, I am almost 26 years old and I can't tie. So I always rebag them into these poly bags and then I will just put the label on top. So I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff over. And we can get into it. So I got all steampunk cupcakes and then I got one loaf, which I'll show you last. So this first one here is strudel and spice, strawberry jam, and then ice cream scoop bread overpour. So the first two scents are always the in beds, and then the third one is always the overpour, just so I don't have to keep saying it. This one smells really good. I mostly smell the strawberry jam in here and the ice cream scoop bread, but I do get a tiny bit of the strudel and spice. I do like to um, keep my Satin Susie scents curing for about two to three weeks, and it's been almost a month now. Yeah, uh, maybe three weeks, so uh, these should be good to go pretty soon. All right, the next one is Havana Mornings and Cinnamon Rolls and then Creamy Nutmeg. Havana Mornings is like a Cuban coffee brown sugar scent, so I thought it would go really good with cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, it definitely smells really nice. I like the Cuban coffee because it's a little bit like more masculine and a little bit smokier than normal coffee scents. 
And then I definitely get the creamy nutmeg and the cinnamon rolls. So the creamy nutmeg I did as an overpour just because I figured it would be the lightest scent and I did want to smell it. So that's why I did it as the overpour. The next one is pumpkin pecan waffles in Hansel and Gretel's house and then coconut cream pie. These are so cute. Oh, I love these. So to be totally honest, I mostly get the coconut cream pie in this one. You do get a little bit of the pumpkin pecan waffles, which her pumpkin pecan waffles is so good. I feel like it's a little bit different from other vendors that I've tried just because it's a maybe like a little bit more sweeter and creamier. Um, and the Hansel and Gretel's house, I don't really get much of, but maybe I'll get it a little bit more once it's melting. Cause I have noticed that what you smell on cold with her stuff isn't necessarily what you're gonna get on warm. Okay, next one is zucchini bread, wild berry mousse and strawberry shortcake. I love this one, but I do think that I should have done the zucchini bread as the overpour instead of the wildberry mousse, just because the wildberry mousse is, or I'm sorry, instead of the strawberry shortcake, because the strawberry shortcake and the wildberry mousse is definitely overpowering the zucchini bread. It's still really good though. I really like the um, wildberry mousse and strawberry shortcake together. It's a really, really good combination. Then we did mahogany, coconut, and mac apple, and then espresso. That's what this one looks like. So a lot of people were interested in this one, and they're like, definitely tell me how it is when you get it. I love this. So mahogany, coconut, and mac apple are already two very hard scents to blend because they are so strong. But then you definitely get both of them, and then I definitely get the espresso as well. This is definitely the strongest one that I have because all three of those are super strong scents, but you definitely get all of them, and I think it is so good. It's masculine, but then a little bit like bakery fruity. I love it. Okay. Uh, cake batter, ice cream, and serendipity, and cotton candy. I really like her cotton candy scent. I do think it's a little bit fruitier than I normally would like, uh, but it's not too bad. It's super, super sweet. Um, I mostly get the cotton candy and the serendipity. I I'm, probably should have done the cake batter ice cream as the overpour now that I'm thinking about it, but it's still really good. I don't think there's any in here that I don't like. I think there's just one that I was like, eh, maybe, but the rest of them, I think I did a pretty good job at blending them. She did a great job at making them. <laughs> All right, next up is Circus Concession, Coconut Cream Pie, and Cotton Candy. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Circus Concession is a funnel cake, cotton candy, caramel apple scent. I love this. So it's like spicy kind of from the funnel cake. And then you get the caramel apples as well. And then it's super sweet from the cotton candy, the overpour and in the circus concession. And then you get kind of like a super creamy bakery note from the coconut cream pie. Yeah, this one is really good. I'm actually really surprised that I got so many of the scent notes in there and I can really smell them. So we have baguette, strawberry shortcake, and buttered maple syrup. So I was actually really curious to see what strawberry shortcake and buttered maple syrup would be, but I didn't know what else to blend with it. So I just added baguette. It is amazing. So the baguette is actually super strong on this one, but I do get the strawberry shortcake and then the buttered maple syrup is just amazing. Yeah, all three of these is are so, is, are so, so good together. Speak proper English, Tara. Yeah, these are so good. I love that one too. I honestly can't pick a favorite. Like so many of them I am obsessed with and I should have gotten more. <laughs> okay, uh, Cider Lane, Strudel and Spice, and Zucchini Bread. So this time I remembered to do the Zucchini Bread as the overpour. I really like this one too. So the Cider Lane and the Zucchini Bread is amazing together. It's kind of giving off like a fresh baked bread note though, so I'm wondering if the strudel and spice mixed with everything else is kind of giving off like a yeastier scent, if you know what I mean. It's really good though. I do wish I smelled the strudel and spice just a little bit more, but like I said, you never really know until you melt it. Okay, next up is sugar milk, coconut cream pie, and cozy little house. 
All right, so Cozy Little House is um, sugar and spices warm this cozy home with notes of apples. So it's like a sugar and spice apple scent. So I thought it would be good with the sugar milk and coconut cream pie just to kind of tone it down a little bit. This is one that I'm not crazy about um, because I basically just get the Cozy Little House and it is really, really spicy even with everything else in there. So I will have to see about this one. I, I don't know. That's the one I'm kind of eh about. <laughs> Alright, next one is roasted chestnuts, butter brickle, and brown sugar. So I kind of just wanted like a super, super sweet, sticky one. Oh my god, I love this. I love butter brickle and brown sugar together. It is just amazing. And I've really been, been into like a roasted chestnut scent lately as well as pralines. But she didn't have praline, so roasted chestnuts was the next one. And I can't really smell a whole lot of it. I mainly just get the butter brickle and brown sugar. So we'll see about that one as well. Uh, Nana's Kitchen, Vanilla Sandalwood, and Espresso. And Nana's Kitchen, she has it on here somewhere. Oh, it's Welcome Home with Cake, Cinnamon, and Vanilla Sugars. So this one smells okay. Um, I think there's like a, I'm kind of getting like a fruity note or something. And I think it's from the Nana's Kitchen because I've obviously had her vanilla sandalwood and espresso before. I don't know, I do like it though, but it's kind of like a weird fruity note that I wasn't exactly expecting. Um, the vanilla sandalwood and espresso though are obviously really good. Okay, Mac apple, salted caramel, and zucchini bread. I hope you guys can hear me because the thunderstorm is pretty loud. <laughs> this smells really good. I love mac apple and salted caramel together and then adding in that zucchini bread. Oh my goodness. Which again, mac apple is super hard to blend with. So the fact that I can get the zucchini bread and uh, the salted caramel is amazing. Okay, the last muffin is serendipity strawberry jam and zucchini bread. I love serendipity and strawberry jam together, if you haven't noticed. Oh my god, this one is definitely in the top three. I am obsessed. It is so good. You get all three of them, and then the zucchini bread is like kind of making the scent for me. Like, I think the zucchini bread is making me love serendipity and strawberry together even more. Okay, then the last thing that I have to show you is one of her sweetheart loaves. So she came out with these during Valentine's Day, I believe, um, and they are so cute. So I got mine, I'm going to have to do it this way here, um, Serendipity Sugar Cookies and Strawberry Jam Overpour. So I have two muffins in Serendipity Sugar Cookies and Strawberry Jam, but it's just backwards. So my other ones for the in-beds are Serendipity I think in strawberry jam and then sugar cookies have the overpour I think um, but I really wanted to smore more smell more of the strawberry jam so in this one I did it as the overpour instead of the in beds so I'm gonna see if I can take it out to show you guys but since it's in this bag I don't really want to ruin it oh I can get it out okay so this is what she looks like it is so cute with all of the in beds with the hearts and the, um, oh, what do you call those candies? These things. Those little heart candies that have like the words on them. I forgot. Smells so good though. I can't decide if I went overboard doing the strawberry as the overpour just because it is a stronger scent. But I think it smells amazing and I'm going to melt it regardless. Yeah, I definitely love this. Conversation hearts. Those were that. <laughs> those are those were the calls. All right. So that is everything that I ended up getting. Like I said, I know I was super late on filming this, but it is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> all right. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay sane. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.